Welcome back. Today, I have a little haul to share with you. Um, I don't do a lot of shopping related videos or haul videos because, um, I'm not that much of a shopper, um, in a traditional sense, and when I do shop, I really make it a point to try to purchase as many things as I can from independent makers and small businesses, and so I shop in a different way than a lot of people do. You know I buy a lot of things um, from Etsy, and I have a lot of interesting places I source things from. But for today, I did want to share some goodies with you because I went to the co-op this morning and I'm really nervous about how crinkly this paper bag is going to be and if it may be too crinkly, a little too loud. Um, we'll see, but I'll crank a little bit for those who like that so hesitant still. I don't want anything to be too jarring. So anyway, I went to the co-op this morning to do some grocery shopping. That's where I do most of my grocery shopping. I also have a, uh, a farm share in the summer, which is amazing. And I also buy some of my um, body care and self-care type things the co-op. Some of them I buy from Etsy or directly from um, from the makers or the uh, small businesses that create and produce them. And um, today at the co-op, I was just in the mood. I always go shopping, grocery shopping, very early in the morning because I like to be there when it's not busy and when it's quiet. And um, I mean, we all know how it's been these last couple of years, you kind of have to do what you got to do and, you know, get out anywhere you're, you're going. You're trying to be very efficient, um, you know, picking things up as quickly as you can. But today, it was a pretty mellow scene at the co-op, and um, I actually took a little time to poke around and peruse, and um, I came home with a few treasures. And this is how we know, friends, that ASMR is now just an inextricable part of my life because when I got home, uh, before, you know, I, was, I put the groceries away and then I thought, okay, I need to put these things away. And then I immediately thought, oh my goodness, I should do a video with them because it's just a neat variety of items and some of them are pretty and I like to share two things with you. So, at any rate, if you do like the sound of a uh, paper bag crinkling, then touch it. Here you go. And I do appreciate that the co-op, you know, gives me my things with a plain paper bag. Nothing too fancy. And I do reuse paper bags a lot for a lot of things. I really like to wrap gifts in um, brown paper, you know, the traditional brown paper packages tied up with string. It really does work. So I guess we could do a little guessing with this one. You could guess what items you think might be in here. So, um, you know, maybe get a few ideas in your mind, and then you can see if you are correct. And, um, yeah, I'll just pull these things out one at a time and show you my goodies. Because whenever I, um, you know, acquire nice new things, I like to share them. I hadn't really planned how I was going to um, 
navigate this paper bag, but I think I'll just use it like a grab bag and uh, see what we got. Okay, so the first thing is kind of a two-part thing, so I will pull them out together. I got myself two new lip balms. Put the bag down for a second. <laughs> so, I love lip balm. <laughs> it is very important to me that I have moisturized lips. I do not like the feeling of dry lips, so I usually have quite a few um, lip balms going at any given time. And I had had a bunch of lip balms um, from the holidays some holiday flavored ones and um, some ones that, you know, maybe weren't my favorite, but I just had had or had been given. And um, so I made myself use all of those up before I bought any new lip balms. So today, I declared it New Lip Balm Day <laughs> because I have finally um, used up my others, most of them. So, this is one of my favorite, favorite brands of lip balm. The brand is Soothing Touch, which it is quite a soothing lip, lip balm. It just makes me giggle for some reason. Soothing Touch Lip Balm. Um, and as you can see, there's a little sort of swan on the tube here. And this flavor is, oh, can I do it? Small lemon cardamom. And this is my favorite um, of their flavors. I love lemon. I love cardamom. And um, to me, this actually tastes like a, um, kind of like a lemon um, poppy seed muffin. So, um, I don't know about my lip balm sounds here, but... So, I went ahead and got two today. I got the lemon cardamom. Uh, with organic cocoa butter and shea butter. So I have that one. And then I got one of their other flavors, which is vanilla chai. This one's got this uh, nice pink tube, and the swan is yellow on this one. Vanilla chai. And um, this flavor is quite yummy too. I really enjoy them both. The lemon is my favorite, but um, I like to have some variety. Um, so I'm really excited, and I love this style of lip balm, this like big, you know, fat style, um, so that you can just, you know, really get it all on there, and uh, <laughs> you're very moisturized. So I'm excited to have these, my two lip balms. So that is the first uh, item first two items in my haul. Um, let's see. Here's a little item. <laughs> and this is something that I picked up um, for someone that I'm putting together a little birthday package for. And um, so I'm going to include this. And it's funny, usually I upload my videos within a day or two of when I record them, but I am going to hold off on this one a little bit because um, this person watches my videos, bless them, and um, I don't want her to see her gift 
before she receives it. So, um, when you are watching this video, this will, uh, this gift will already have been given. <laughs> but, you can see, this is a little kind of, uh, envelope, square envelope, with a seal on the back. And on the front, there is a picture, an illustration of an iris flower, and it says, Iris. Inspiration. Soul. Flower. Temporary. Tattoos. So they are temporary tattoos. And um, when I first saw them, I thought they were stickers. And I got really excited um, because I love flowers and I love stickers. And then I, were like, I was like, oh, they're tattoos. So at first I was like, oh, maybe that's a little weird and I'm um, like not as cool or useful. But then I decided to just go for it because um, the message of inspiration is the one that I wanted to pass along. And um, I love this flower and so I... Um, leave it to the gift recipient to come up with um, a creative way to use these. I mean, I haven't used a temporary tattoo since I was a kid, and I have no real tattoos because I was never um, brave enough to get one, and honestly at this point in my life I think that was probably good that I was a chicken. Um, because now I don't, you know, have, have any regrets. And I mean, I really like tattoos a lot. Of tattoos are quite beautiful, and um, I don't have any any qualms with tattoos. I just uh, never ended up getting one uh, myself. But these are so pretty. This illustration is so pretty. Maybe the next time I go back to the co-op, um, they had a bunch of different flowers. Maybe I will get some temporary tattoos for myself. And I remember as a kid, too, I mean, you can put temporary tattoos on things other than your body. You can, you know, transfer them onto a notebook or something. <laughs> and, um, actually, here's a little time capsule for you at my parents' home on the wall in um, a room that was once my bedroom on the paneling. There are still three temporary tattoos or transfers or whatever they might have called them at the time, but it's basically the same thing, of the Animaniacs, Yakko and Wacko and Dot Warner from the Animaniacs cartoon of the 90s. So if you know Animaniacs, um, let me know, but that is funny that my parents have this um, time capsule on the wall, which, you know, they've never scrubbed off, which they could, but it's funny that they've lasted so long. Um, see, I can ramble about anything, really, can't I? Um, so on the back of this, it says, contains three temporary tattoos, shown actual size, so they're nice, uh, large flower ones like this, and it says, invite the healing energy of the plant spirits into your life, mysoulflower.com. And there's this nice little uh, sticker with kind of a, I don't know, maybe it's like a dandelion uh, frond or some sort of little uh, vegetation there. But anyway, that's neat. It was just something that I literally just saw these sitting in a display and um, I just thought it was so pretty. And it made me think of um, this person that I wanted to get something special for. So, um, much love to her. And um, it's just fun to get to show you this pretty, this pretty, um, pretty flower. Okay, so that's my second treasure from the co-op. Okay, so everything else I think in here is for me. Ha ha ha. I was being very um, 
indulge in okay i'm really excited about these i got myself some new scrunchies oh scrunchie what a funny word that is some elastic hairbands um, and i had been wanting to get um some scrunchies that were kind of a silky um, softer material that I can put my hair up in at night to help it um, from getting tangled and um, I mean I don't know my hair's kind of out of control these days I'm actually um, probably going to cut it short again soon because it's been um, I don't know I just haven't been able to uh, style it I mean that's the thing I don't really style my hair so if it just doesn't naturally do something awesome then um, it's time to change it but, um, no matter what length my hair is, um, you know, unless it's super short, which I probably won't do that again for a while, it's always nice to have a scrunchie. And these ones say... Sorry. Scrunchie. Set of two. So this fabric um, is either reminiscent of saris or perhaps made from recycled saris. I've seen um, products like that before. Let's see what it says on the back. It says, handmade, sustainable, made in India, fair trade. We're creating a world that's more vibrant, kind, and connected through artisan-made products. Discover more at matrabumi.com m-a-t-r-b-o-o-m-i-e dot com hmm. okay well I will have to look up more about um, these crunchies and uh, the story behind the uh, company or the venture that creates them and they had um, several different um color combinations. They had some that were more pinky reds and colors like that, but I really liked both of these. I like this turquoisey one that has some violet sprigs on it, and then this one that's more browns and blacks and golds, and um, they're both very silky and soft, so I didn't, um, I didn't think to bring a tool with me to uh, cut these off of here right now, so um, I'm not going to do that at the moment, but um, I promise I will wear one of them, uh, I will wear both of them probably, uh, in future videos so that you can see them, but um, you know, I'm just not a person that buys things like this all the time, like I never go to the drugstore or anything like that because I just... I like to try to find things from more unique sources, and um, so I had actually been holding off a long time on buying new scrunchies, and um, so I'm glad to have these. So, that is my next treasure. <laughs> okay, there are two more items in this bag. Two, two more items, and interestingly, they are both cylindrical in shape. So, I'm going to pull out this one first, and this is my one that was a complete impulse purchase. Who knows? We'll see. What could it be? It is actually a deodorant. And for those of you who try to use um, sustainable products, you probably know that I feel like I feel like deodorant is like the last bastion <laughs> of natural products to find one that you actually like and works for you and isn't messy and um, you know there's quite a world of uh, products out there and I think my husband and I have probably tried all of them over the years. Um, he currently uses a, deod a deodorant called Nude 
which um, comes in a little tube and is made um, somewhere abroad, perhaps in Sweden, I can't remember. And um, I discovered it a long time ago when I was trying different products, and he really likes it. It's perfect for him, um, but I didn't care for it as much. So um, I have continued to be on the lookout for deodorant, and um, I've tried different things, and I've tried different homemade ones as well, and they work pretty well. But this one, I was just drawn to because look at this packaging. It's so cute. And it's geranium scented. Geranium. And I love geranium scent. And it's got this beautiful little geranium on it. And um, it wasn't very expensive. I mean, granted, it's a small um, amount, but usually natural deodorants are very expensive. So I felt okay um, just kind of experimenting with this one um, and giving it a try since it wasn't so expensive. And it is made by a company. Um, oh gosh, I'm going to have my uh, glasses on for this. Um, called Revival Homestead Supply, and um, I did look them up briefly when I got home, and they are a very, very small batch um, home uh, beauty and home, not home care, what am I trying to say, self-care product uh, line, but actually body care too, and um, they actually sell kits to make your own homemade products as well as um, selling the products themselves. So that was just kind of neat to discover them randomly. And so I will be trying out this little uh, geranium deodorant. It's in this cute um, cardboard packaging. And it smells really, really good. I'll show you the top there. You can see it's solid and it does. There is like a crack in it, which I mean doesn't really hurt anything because you kind of have to get it um, you know, to be a little bit soft in order to rub it in anyway, and so it'll, you know, blend together, but, uh, that'll be interesting, so I've been, um, let's see how this sounds. Ooh. I've been wanting to do a, um, natural, uh, self-care products video because I've actually put a lot of time and effort into finding products that I like and that have clean ingredients and that work for me. So um, maybe I'll try to do that soon and I'll let you know what I think of this deodorant. <laughs> but it is definitely my deodorant. Okay, last item in my co-op goodie bag. <laughs> is a candle. <laughs> and candles are another thing that I could go bonkers buying because I love them. Although I am very picky about them and I don't like them um, artificially fragranced ones at all, <laughs> but um, I used up a lot of candles over the holiday season, and um, I did receive a couple as gifts, but at the co-op they had these beautiful little beeswax pillar candles on sale, and beeswax candles are the best. They last forever and they burn so well, so I got this orange one. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it's a little bit of a spicy orange, and it says 100% pure beeswax, aromatherapy, orange. So, um, I'm excited to give this little candle a try and see how it smells. A lovely orange candle, and it is made by Sunbeam Candles. It's 
for Brandon. Okay, cool. So this is the last um, item. And it's funny, usually when I do these show and tell or what's in my bag, I usually put everything back in the bag. So I guess I might as well do that um, since I need to distribute these things around my house anyway. <laughs> so we have my beeswax orange candle. We have my new scrunchies made out of silky sari material. We have my geranium deodorant. We will see. Do a little product testing here. Um, see how that goes. <laughs> And then we have the Soul Flower Iris Temporary Tattoos. And my two lip balms. <laughs> well, thank you hanging out with me and um, exploring my goodies with me. It's like I said, I just got home and I really had the urge to film a video and share these things with you. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing them. Take good care of yourself. Rest well. And I'll see you again soon.